All right, let's jump into another game here. Hopefully we get to use the Malagos in this one. Another Warlock. Maybe it'll be Hamlock this time. Um, we want early game, so we don't really want... We'll keep one bow just in case it's Zoo, because bow's good. But there we go, Haunted Creeper. Cane Shot we don't really want to draw till later as much. Especially off coin, because we can't really arcane shot anything. Scientist is good also. Maybe he's playing Malagos Warlock and some Mirror. Alright, so he's definitely playing either Handlock or like more of a slow deck. So we'll start with Creeper rather than Scientist. Since we want creatures on the board, and Scientist just gets Dark Bombed and then doesn't get value for like forever. The amount of burn we have definitely helps the. Um, definitely helps this matchup. So we're gonna do this, and uh, next turn can play like Scientist Hero Power. I don't know if we'll have enough time to Malagos him though since he's playing Warlock. Malagos really only works against like really slow decks. Or if we nut draw with like Thorson. But the rest of the deck um, usually functions fine without it. I'm just gonna tap again. Coin a Watcher. Coin an Owl. Alright. Ooh, there's a Thorson. Alright. I'm just gonna use bow here because I want to keep my creature on the board. And here, power do this. In a couple turns, we can play Thorson, and then we can like dump all of these, draw a quick shot. If we draw a Malagos, then we're just we just win, sort of. Unless he starts playing Giants. Drakes are a lot less scary than Giants because Giants just insta kill us. Drake, please be a Drake. Please, please. Shields up. Oh, neither. Neither is good too. Neither is an acceptable result. Also, Hunter's Mark definitely helps against both Drakes and Giants. Colt Master would be really good right now because I get to draw two cards. Unleash. Unleash not as good right now. Probably will be later though. Um, could just use Quick Shot. To keep board presence, I think we'll do that. So with hero power, fourteen is probably safe-ish. Because now, if he wants to, he can like play a giant or tap play a giant. But since he already used coin, he can't. He can't play double giants, and he can't play a giant and taunt it. Lotheb, Lotheb's fine. We're just gonna play Thoris in response. We can play our Lotheb. I'm just gonna play Thoris. In. The real question is. Do we hit him down? Now he can play giant and like taunt it or whatever. So I think it's fine just to hit him. Especially since we have some burn in our hand and also since he played Lotheb instead of the Molten Giant he could have played. And Lotheb's probably weaker than Molten Giant in that position. So I don't think he has Moltens. Maybe he does. We'll see. Buzzard or Colt Master pretty much wins if he dumps a bunch of Moltens, because we can draw into a Hunter's Mark or um, enough face damage to win. And like, double Molten Heal Bot isn't scary, because then they're not taunted. And he like, trades Lotheb for the Thoris, and then we have two creatures still. But I don't think he has Moltens in the first place, he might have drawn one, but... He might just siphon our Thoris, and I think that might be what's happening here, since he's debating the Lotheb attack. I guess not. He might just play a heal bot, like, straight up. Which is fine, because then that'll give us enough time to Malagos him. This is the card he drew for the turn, so that might be a Molten. Okay, there's one Molten. And there's a heal bot. Alright. Ooh, Juggler. Hmm. I want to save this for a draw mechanic though, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play my Lotheb. 
I don't think I even want to play the Juggler yet, because next turn I can do, like, all of these things. So I will play my Lothab. And I guess I can do, like, this. I could also just develop the explosive trap, but then the scientist is getting killed anyway, so there's not really a point. So I'll just pass that. And then next turn, hopefully, we draw a buzzard or a cult master or a hunter's mark or a Malagos. Well, the Malagos would rather draw on like turn 9 than right now. It's gonna get killed immediately, too, so we're gonna need to get the, the arcane shot value off of it. Like immediately. I have no time for games. Primarily want to draw Cult Master though, because that draws us all the cards that we want. Quick shot. Alright. Well. We can't play this, so we don't get the full quick shot value, so we might save it, but we can just go for a lot of damage now. And we can save this for Malagos too, because it costs zero, so we can cast it like whenever we want anyway. That was pretty pretty good value. So now the explosive kills the giant. We're gonna ignore the Sylvanas and just go face because we don't care about like the second molten or him stealing anything, etc. Because we're just gonna kill him. And Malagos is a super sweet draw, because then our arcane shot just does 7 damage. But see, like, uh, Thorson is doing so much work. Maybe we don't even play Malagos, we just play with Thorson. Seems super valuable. Clement's doing that. That seems strange. And then hitting my face too. Is he gonna like shadow flame? Is that the plan? Yeah. He's at six. So he's just dead. Hopefully you draw Malagus then, because then we can kill him in a cool way. Aww. I guess we still could draw Malagos, although now we can't cast it, but alright. Fine. Ugh. So we beat Handlock as well, we actually went 2-1. We did not get to go off with Malagos, which is a shame. Um, that doesn't happen super often, but um, it is um, like a distinct possibility, and it's worth the one card in the deck um, in case it does happen. So that was Malagos Hunter. Um, again, not a tier 1 deck, but super sweet, so try it out if you're looking to have some fun. Um, definitely a good way to get on like Trolldon or something like that. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, Check out some of my other articles and some other people's articles on tableStorm.com and uh, have fun.